hello viewers welcome to my channel thank you for joining us today here in this video tutorial i want to show you guys on how to convert kml google earth data to autocad dwg data from our previous tutorials on this channel we have shown you guys on how to convert from dwg to kml so you can find that video tutorial under this video description and other relevant tutorials on AutoCAD and Google Earth Pro. Thank you. So to convert your KML Google Earth data to DWG, such as this data you are seeing on the screen. So if you check what we are having here, I have digitized some features of interest which is the road leading to these parcels these are the buildings these are building parcels and other routes linking to it therefore if you have other features you want to digitize you can also digitize the features and save it under your layer however you can still find the video tutorial on how to digitize features on google earth pro under the video description that will guide you on how we came about these features on Google Earth. So after you have a feature digitized, selected on Google Earth Pro, you are to save your features you have extracted as KML. So these are my features under this folder, details, the roads and the buildings. Okay. So after you have your features here, you are to click on the folder of interest or the features of interest any which way however in the course of this video i have all these features under the details folder so i will click on the details then you are expected to right click so when you right click you scroll down to save place has you click on that after you click on that you go to the folder where you want your data to be saved under so i want it to be saved under youtube under my desktop okay so this is details and i want to save it as do not save it as kmz save it as kml so to change that you will click on this then you are going to see kml you check and click that okay so when you are done with that you click on save and that is all on google earth pro so our data has been saved has been extracted and it's been saved as kml so the next thing to convert these features to dwg by leaves you minimize the google earth pro work environment then you come to your autocad then you open a new drawing environment on autocad please if you have watched this video to this extent why not hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification on this channel to keep getting valuable and educative tutorial content freely thank you so when you are on your new work environment on autocad the next thing is to come to your command line then you type app then you click on enter so in the course of this video the method i'll be using to convert my google earth kml file to dwg data is the auto leaves method so the list file i'll be using here is the kml to dwg okay so when you have your file saved on the folder okay you navigate to the folder of interest then you make sure you have the file popping up and showing on your desktop okay so the file i'll be using in the course of this video is the kml to dwg please check under the video description to see the download link to this auto leaves tool here so when you see it you click on it it's going to appear here when it appears you click on load then below you are going to see successfully loaded then you click on close then the next thing to do is to come to your command line then you type IRT and you click on enter so you are going to see these prompt popping up on your AutoCAD then the next thing is to define the coordinate system okay 
of the KML data. So the territory is world generally. Therefore, I am going to choose my coordinates reference system, the projection system of interest, where I extracted my data from. So you have to note your coordinate reference of system where you extracted your data from. So the WGS84 is the datum Google Earth uses, then different zones are actually there. So I am just going to define my reference system below here. So this data is extracted from the WGS84 UTM zone 31. So you click under the drop down shadow arrow here. Then you scroll down you are going to see WGS84 then you go to your place of interest then you scroll down to your zone of interest so my zone of interest is UTM zone 31 then you check and click on that so it has appeared and you are done defining the coordinate system as you can see on the screen so the next thing is to go to map type to click on that then you scroll up to local files so these are local files then the next thing is kml so the kml you are to import and click on import all right so when you are done with that you scroll down if you do not have anything displaying here on the folder if it is empty you are to click on this then you define the folder you want your converted data to be saved into so I want it to be saved inside the YouTube folder. Then you click on the folder and you click on OK. It is going to appear here. After you are done with that, you click on OK. Therefore, the next thing is to select the file. So here you are going to see select mode, you see file, you see directory. So you click on file. When you click on file, you are expected to navigate to the folder where you have your KML saved. So I have it saved under my YouTube. Therefore, as you can see on the screen, this is the details KML file we saved initially. So when you save your data, it is going to appear. You click on that. Okay. When you click on that, it is going to appear as file name. Then you click on open. Therefore, you are to scroll down to zoom extent or you come to your command line to type Z enter E enter. So guys, this is the extracted details on Google Earth that we just digitized and extracted as KML. You can see it well converted as DWG AutoCAD data thank you for watching if you find this video so valuable and helpful to you do well to hit on the subscribe icon on this channel and turn on your notification to keep getting updates freely from this channel thank you for watching see you again